If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. From today's gospel, St. Luke chapter 9, verse 23. Thanks for joining us on this Thursday evening. I'm Brian Patrick, and common themes for this season of Lent are forgiveness, mercy, and conversion. It's good to have Dr. Jem Sullivan back with us to explore these themes through art. Now, you specialize in sacred art. What pieces come to mind when we talk about Lent? At the beginning of Lent, the church calls us to return to the Lord, to turn back to God with a heart of forgiveness and of mercy. Um, this beautiful painting from the National Gallery of Art is really a visual homily on what it means to return to the Lord. The Return what of happens, the Prodigal Son. That's right, The Return of the Prodigal Son by Bartolome Esteban Murillo, who painted many subjects uh, with this religious matter, but always um, with uh, on large canvases like this one. The painting is an example of what we would call a simultaneous narrative, where we see all of the elements in the composition on one screen. There's a but lot there. That's right, but Murillo wants us to focus on the heart of the matter, the center of the composition where we see the father and the son in this loving embrace, tender embrace of mercy and forgiveness. The son is on his knees. He's begging for forgiveness from he's his father. He's pretty tattered too. That's right. His he's clothes been are tattered. It. His feet are dirty. He is a symbol of all of humanity alienated by sin from God. He's a symbol of us as we make our Lenten journey back to the Lord uh, with, in, in a spirit of forgiveness. In sharp contrast, we have the uh, repentant Magdalene. That's right, the repentant Magdalene. Um, and this is another beautiful, moving painting uh, by the French artist, Georges so de la Tour. That's right, it's a moving image. Um, and it really what we have here is de la Tour is greatly inspired by the Baroque artist uh, Caravaggio. He uses chiaroscuro, which is a sharp contrast of light and shadow. So we see this single source of light in the painting, a, a single candle that illuminates the entire scene. And this is an image of spiritual illumination that comes at this interior quiet moment of repentance, conversion, and understanding of God's mercy. Mary Magdalene is bathed in this radiating light of God's mercy. She's such a powerful image in history too. This sinner that they were gonna stone and, and Jesus says, I'm not gonna judge you. And she's at the foot of the cross when Jesus is crucified. That's right, because she's had this encounter with the mercy of God's love. She now knows that when she comes to the Lord in repentance, she will encounter His great love and mercy. And this is what we're invited to do in Lent as well. We can have that same encounter in Lent. Dr. Jen Sullivan, thank you so much. We appreciate you being thank with Thank you us. so much. Beautiful sacred art.